Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be jumping straight into the market, talking about this most recent crash of a huge 16% on Bitcoin, Ethereum 22%, Cardano 19%. XRP up, or sorry, not up, but down 28% as well. The only coin that even tried to stay remotely close to even or at least positive is Solana, and it was not able to do it down 8% as well. I will say, guys, I do want to upload this video as quickly as possible to you guys, so I didn't do much in the deep diving of getting articles up and tweets up. The only thing I did say, guys, I just tweeted out a uh, you know a tweet here that's, I believe, very accurate. So just wait for Coinbase Pro, Gemini, Voyager, and KuCoin to recover. The coins will uh, obviously recover with those exchanges. So the one thing to note right now, guys, is Coinbase Pro, Gemini, Voyager, and KuCoin are all down. You cannot log in to any of these and start buying or selling. So when I was able to look on my KuCoin app and see the buying and selling going on, Chainlink went down, I believe, all the way down to almost $24. And now it's being bought back up very, very quickly as some people are able to sneak in. And you're going to see these red market dips that are very, very high start to at least recover in some sort of sense. So it'll hopefully keep you guys a little bit uh, you know, okay with this dip if you can take advantage of it yourself. I know a lot of people are very, very eager to jump in and and this could be your opportunity. Uh, you know, if we look through some of these tweets as well, if we go to, let's go down here to uh, homepage here. I think we had a couple different tweets. So a nation state is buying the Bitcoin dip. Unreal. So this is what is, you know, being programmed right now. El Salvador is 100% getting on board with a very, very good deal. Um, you know, a lot of people knew this th kind of thing would happen. And uh, yeah, moon phase like clockwork morale will be back in two weeks. So we will have a lot of people excited. KuCoin, like the wizard shows here, down. A lot of people complaining about, obviously, KuCoin, Coinbase, and Binance. Binance is working okay, it seems. Wouldn't be surprised if unscheduled maintenance comes. Binance is, <laughs> Binance is struggling from a lot of people's standpoint. But, you know, some people are able to get into certain exchanges. So some people are able to take advantage of the dip. I personally cannot get into KuCoin, which is where I had some funds and I wanted to actually invest into Chainlink at that $24 or $25 range. If you guys are able to invest at these very, very low price ranges, very, very well done because, like I said, these are great times to actually buy. And you can see, you know, which dip are we buying? A lot of people just excited about this dip. And, you know, I think we are at the bottom of this current dip. You know, we have a very, very solid pushback already starting. If we take a look at the one hour chart on at least Coinbase, you can see that we found that bottom around $42,830, or $830, right around that range. So it bottomed out already and is already making a return or recovery, uh, hopefully to even a new all-time high across the crypto space. So this is a very, very big push for a lot of people. Understanding that this last hour has been absolutely crazy volatility-wise. We saw Cardano drop all the way down to $2, push back up to 236 and just continuing around that 230 range. Like I said, we could see more dips coming. There's obviously always volatility in the market when it's in, you know, including, you know, crypto in general, but Chainlink's already pushing its way back to $26, $27 almost. If we take a look at the last hour here, you're going to see a $31.82 price dropped all the way down to about $25, even lower. Like I said, I think I was able to see $24 on KuCoin and uh, just wasn't able to buy it. So unfortunately, a lot of people are locked out, not being able to take profits. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update on what I'm thinking. I think we are going to get back to that 50K price point within a just, you know, maybe even 24 hours, to be honest, with this hype regarding, uh, you know, El Salvador buying. And then also, like I said, Big things coming with a lot of people wanting to jump in on this step. There was a lot of money on the sidelines. This could be a great opportunity for that smart money to actually come into crypto during this dip. I think these numbers are going to get very, very, um, I guess I should say less red here in the next 24 hours. You know, we see 20 to really 35% of a dip on Polkadot. Another great price. If you guys are able to jump in on Polkadot, you saw it drop all the way down to $22. And guys, the best way to take advantage of this, I, I've always talked about, you know, these possibilities of, you know, crazy volatility and crazy dips and crazy market crashes. Well, this is definitely a crash. And I will say, guys, realistically, the only way to take advantage of these crashes when, you know, exchanges are down, there's nothing you can do about it. Well, the best thing you can do is actually make a, uh, you know, make a limit order so you can actually buy these dips when they do happen because you already have it, um, you know, planned out in that, you know, KuCoin. So let's say in KuCoin, I just plan for a crazy crash and I just have Chainlink being uh, limit bought at $25. I would have just bought all my Chainlink at $25, obviously being a great way to do so if you're locked out of your account because you can't log into these exchanges. But I just want to say realistically, 
you know, if you guys are new to crypto, this does happen, unfortunately. Uh, you know, it is a crazy volatility, and sometimes it works out for the good. You know, you're seeing 26% increases. That does happen. So expect it on both ends of the spectrum. I think we are going to see a lot of recovery taking place in the next couple of hours, and we're going to see a lot of people actually putting their money that is on the sidelines straight back in. And the one thing to note, guys, is there's continuing to be so many people jumping in. If we go to, I think, Stefan Curry, actually, yeah, here we go. So, we can see here, just getting started in the crypto game. Y'all got any advice? This is 14 hours ago. Unfortunately, he joined right before this crypto dip, so he might not be too happy about it. But, you know, realistically, we are starting to get even, you know, just the craziest of the craziest celebrities involved in crypto. And I think that's going to continue to take place. Obviously, mass adoption taking place with it. I'm sure people are laughing at him now. Maybe some people that don't believe in crypto coming after him. And uh, I think he'll get the last laugh, though, like we all do um, with crypto being what it is and uh, having such great, really, possibilities. So, so, so this is a, uh, please, I'm down 20%. What happened? Huge sale. So a lot of people thinking different things, obviously a couple different people thinking a huge sale, huge opportunity. Let's, you know, double invest, reinvest in this huge dip. And then we have people asking what happened. So, you know, a lot of people don't actually know what happened quite yet. One thing to note is El Salvador could be hit by a crypto crash after it adopts Bitcoin and would be powerless to do anything. So this doesn't have too much to do with what happened, but I will say realistically, El Salvador is one of the main reasons this crash happened obviously trying to buy bitcoin at a lower price and uh you know a lot of people think this is manipulation across the market we've seen manipulation in the market before definitely probably going to be the exact same kind of concept here and what happens as well as you have to realize when these markets start to tumble like this anybody that's longing any position is instantly going to lose their position. So you're going to be seeing people longing, um, you know, let's say $50,000 to, or just like, let's say they longed about a $50,000, $52,000 range. You know, Bitcoin dropping the way it did, you're going to be losing your position in that long. So you're going to actually get liquidated and, you know, Bitcoin's going to just drop even farther. So it's, it gets pretty crazy very, very quickly. Um, and I just kind of wanted to explain my thoughts on the crypto market and where it's at right now and get this video out to you guys as quickly as possible. So you know that we are all in the same boat. Obviously, a lot of people in this crash together. So understand that these are just, like I said, great times to buy if you are able to get into a market uh, or sorry, an exchange. Uh, I also want to say, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. So always do your own research before investing as this kind of thing, like I said, happens all the time in crypto. Uh, but like I said, it's also looking very, very good right now in the last month, still up 10%. And if we look at the last 24 hours, we're actually, like I said, already recovering from 42K, already back to 47K. So I do think we're going to make up that, uh, really, that dip very, very quickly. And this is one of the safer dips I've seen in the crypto space. So thank you guys again for tuning in. If you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything regarding crypto. I really do appreciate it, guys. We also have a patreon.com slash crypto profit link down in the description below. I think it's actually patreon.com slash crypto profit YT. You can stay up to date with crypto market updates like these, as well as so many pre-sales, ICOs, IDOs, and low market cap picks. I give you all of that in the Patreon. So definitely, like I said, support me there as I do not run ads during the month of September. We also want to take a look at Crypto Profit YT on Twitter. Follow me there and stay up to date with these updates. Like I said, just wait for Coinbase Pro, Gemini, Voyager, and KuCoin to recover. The coins will recover with the exchanges. So thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one.